Welcome guys, this is Coach Alyssa and I'm going to take you through a nice little ab workout today. I'm coming to you um, as a coach from Isabella Fitness um, and I'm going to take you through what these two movements are going to be that we're going to do today. If there is only two, um, it's going to be a hollow hold as well as a bicycle crunch. All right, so for our ab workout today, a hollow hold, a bicycle crunch, I'm gonna take you guys through those two movements, um, what they should look like, um, what our form should look like, um, and then we'll jump into the workout and you guys can see it in real time. All right, so first thing I wanna talk about is our hollow hold. Really important. Um, you guys can come down to the mat. All right, what we're gonna do first is we're going to lay flat down to the mat. All right, once we're down to the mat here, there's a couple of different options of what we can do for this hollow hold. All right, essentially our hollow position is going to be this position, a part where we're making um, this line that comes down creates this position here and then our arms coming up high. Um, ideally what it is is the opposite of an arched position, right? So an arched position would be here, right? A hollow position is the opposite right here. All right, but there's a couple of different modifications that we can do for this hold. This hold right here is gonna be our toughest modification. Legs out nice and long, arms nice and long overhead, while also maintaining this position. Now the thing that's gonna be the most important when you're doing these is that we're keeping our back flat to the ground right here. We shouldn't see, have anything passing underneath our back. It should be completely flush with the floor. All right, so if we have that natural arch here and we're relaxed, our, our core here, our abs aren't gonna be tight. So we need to come up into this position. You, you'll notice the second you get your shoulders up off the floor that everything is nice and tight here. All right, here's a couple of different options of what we can do once we are in this kind of crunched position. All right, arms can be high, legs can be long, and we can hold here. Again, like I said, that's gonna be our toughest position. If we wanna look for another movement that we can do um, that's a little bit easier, one leg is out, one leg is in, hands are up and out to the side. All right, so we're still keeping our shoulders up and off the floor for each one but our, our legs are in a little bit of a different position. And if you are doing this modification, arms out to the side, keeping this shoulders up off the ground. All right, doesn't matter which leg it is, it can be either leg. Doesn't matter if it's here or here. All right, you can also switch in the middle of it if you wanna switch legs, I'm okay with that. All right, and then our easiest modification is going to be knees into chest. All right, make it a little bit easier. Arms still out to the side. You see we're still creating this hollow position here, keeping our back flat against the floor. All right, so. That is our hollow hold. We're going to be holding them for 30 seconds at a time during our workout. So we'll do a 30 second hollow hold and then we're going to go into 30 bicycle crunches. All right, these are definitely challenging. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys through them a little bit and don't be afraid in the workout to break these up if you need to. Okay, so for our bicycle crunches, again, we're gonna be in that hollow position. So we're really focusing on that hollow position. All right, so for our bicycle crunches, you can bring your head, your hands right to your head. You don't wanna necessarily relax them back here, but bring them here. All right, just like a bicycle, or just like our hollow hold, we're gonna have one leg in at a time, one leg out. All right, we're creating that hollow position with our back right now. All right, and then I'm gonna bring my opposite elbow to opposite knee. And that is our bicycle crunch. All right. 
opposite elbow to opposite knee. We're not necessarily pulling our neck here. We're just moving side to side. All right, feeling that turn here. All right, so that's our two movements. Uh, we're going to do this as an, an AMRAP. So we're gonna do as many rounds as possible with this. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do it as a 14 minute AMRAP. Um, there will be a designated rest. So you'll do a 30 second hollow hold. You'll do 30 bicycle crunches, crunches, and then you'll do a one minute rest. And then we'll start from the top. And again, try to keep the 30 second hollow hold. If you can't hold it, come down for a second, stop your, stop your time, and then continue. Um, the 30 bicycle crunches you can split up if you need to. I would say if you can do 10, take a rest, 10, take a rest, and do the last 10, you're golden. Um, and then again, that one minute rest after each round of the 30 seconds and 30 crunches. All right, so I'm gonna start a clock for us. We'll go for 14 minutes. Let's get going. Three, two, one, and hold. Good. That's 30 seconds. I'm just bringing my clock a little bit closer to me so I can see it. All right, and then we're going to do 30 bicycle crunches here. Remember, starting in that hollow position still. Opposite knee to opposite leg. Then anytime you need to break it up and rest here in a natural curved state, that's fine. But take a second and then get back in because we will have a designated rest. So that will definitely help. So I'm taking a look at my time. I'm gonna take that one minute rest. Come up for a second, maybe grab some water if you have some. And then we will jump back in. Maybe get a little bit of a stretch here. And then get ready for the next set. If you do have um, a phone that you can use as a timer, a computer, or you just have a clock near you that you can watch and you can set it, um, that would probably be ideal. That way you can keep track of your time, especially if you have to break up that hollow hold at all um, and for when you're trying to figure out your rest. All right, so I'm gonna be back up in five seconds. So I'm gonna get ready and then go into a hollow hold. Like I said, you can switch legs if you're in this hollow position, if you need to. We don't want our leg to be straight up. We want it to be down a little bit. I'm gonna take a second and then get right into those bicycle crunches. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow.
I've reached my second rest, so I'm gonna take this minute as rest. During both of these movements, we are working a lot of the same muscles. We're getting a little bit of a turn here. We're just switching it up a little bit, um, but we're hitting our core in the same way for both movements, right? So by the time we get to those bicycle crunches, our core is already warmed up in that hollow position, and we're kind of hitting it again with those bicycle crunches. Like I said again, you can use this time to stretch out, grab some water. That way, as soon as that minute's up, we're jumping back in. All right, so I'm back up. I'm gonna switch back to this position. And don't be afraid to switch up your hollow position. If you started in a position maybe like this and you wanna do something a little bit tougher, you can bring that leg out. If you started in the long position here and you feel like you need to reel yourself back in a little bit, it's getting tough. Again, you can do that as well. You do not have to stick with the same hollow hold position the whole time. Taking that one minute rest. And just about over that six minute mark. So I've still got plenty of time to get a couple more rounds of this in before our 14 minute time cap. All right, 20 seconds, and I'm right back in it. Again, I'll probably be switching up this hollow position as needed. Very important is keeping these shoulders up and off the floor, which is helping to push our body down to the floor, keeping this nice and flush against the floor. And keeping us in this challenging core position in our hollow hold. All right, so right now I have a little bit of space behind my back because I'm just resting. But the second that I come up to do those bicycle crunches, I will again be pressing down nice and flush against the floor here. one is definitely getting challenging. Can come up for a second. Rest up here. Got about 25 seconds left in this rest. and about four and a half minutes remaining to get some core work done.
All right, and I'm gonna prepare to come back up and hold. If you're comfortable with it and you would like to, you can do as I just did on this last round and go straight from that hole, that hollow hold right into our bicycle crunches. Uh, it's gonna feel tough coming off of that hold because we're already taxed here. Um, but if you feel comfortable enough, you can go one into the next because we're already nice in that hollow position that we need for the crunch. All right, so I'm taking that rest again. Another 30 seconds, and then we'll be coming on close to probably one or maybe one and a half rounds left here. This is the time to really pick it up um, and try to get the, those rounds done a little bit quicker. Anything that we have left, this is the end, if this is the end of our workout, try to get the most rounds that we can and push ourselves here towards the last few minutes. All right, and I'm right back up, holding this hollow position. Good, I'm gonna actually take a small rest on this round and then jump into those bicep crunches. Got about a minute rest here, and then probably just enough time to get in part of one more round. Make sure we're breathing during these. Although we are working our core and a lot of times we're trying to remain very tight, we still need to be breathing and making sure that we're not holding our breath when we're doing these. All right, I'm back up in 10 seconds, right into that hollow hold. And I'm going to rest for a second. There's about 25 seconds left. I'm gonna to try to finish out these bicycle crunches. Really try to finish out strong here. Whew. 
and that's 14 minutes. That is time. So I was able to finish just about on time and get that last round in. All right. Thank you so much for you guys for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.